Rangnick tries not to answer nonsense Man United questions after completely false reports. Ralph Rangnick kept trying to tell journalists that their questions did not make sense. He will be glad to escape the English press. Right to vote this story is so big that the sun have broken out the double capitals. Ralph Rangnick will not recommend Harry Maguire to be Man United captain under Eric Ten Hag and says stars should vote let's read the full story by Neil Custis to see exactly what Ralph Rangnick says because this seems unnecessarily personal about Harry Maguire and he is usually quite careful about what he says. Asked if he would recommend Maguire to incoming boss Eric Ten Hag, Rangnick said. I understand your question, but again it doesn't make sense because we don't know what kind of players will be here, what the group will look like. Ah. So he specifically said the question about recommending Maguire doesn't make sense and the extrapolation from this as he will not recommend the current captain, who he never mentions by name, not that it's actually an irrelevance. Seems absolutely fair and definitely not designed to tap into anti-Harry Maguire sentiments among Manchester United fans. As for vote being in capitals is the sun now so anti-democracy that even the word vote is worthy of astonishment? An election this incredulousness at the idea of a vote stretches to the mail, because of course it does Ralph Rangnick fuels debate over whether Harry Maguire should remain as Man United captain under Eric Ten Hag, by insisting skippers should be elected by teammates without of sorts defender, set to miss rest of season with injury elected. What is this foreign madness? Captain, my captain over at the Manchester Evening News, we are told that Eric Ten Hag already has a candidate to replace Harry Maguire as Manchester United captain. Does he? Or is this a right load of speculative bollocks? You guessed right. Maguire has failed with the armband, meaning speculation is already mounting about who could sport it next season. Will Ten Hag allow Maguire to keep it in the hope that he can rebuild his career or hand it to somebody else? Only time will tell. But doesn't he already have a candidate? It turns out that the candidate is David De G, based purely on the grounds that a, he has been quite good, and b, he has been quite honest about Manchester United being shit this season. Media Watch is not quite sure that those are the criteria for a captain, but we're happy to be corrected if indeed Ten Hag already has a candidate. However, whilst he seems like the most suited candidate to replace Maguire as United skipper, Ten Hag's style of play could impact his chances, with some United fans already believing that Dean Henderson could get the nod between the sticks next season, purely because of Ajax's interest in him a few months ago and Ten Hag's vision. It is a difficult one for Ten Hag to weigh up, but it is a decision he cannot afford to get wrong. In the grand scheme of things, deciding on who sports the armband might seem irrelevant when considering what changes need to happen at Old Trafford this summer, but it is a decision that could go an awfully long way in instilling a winning mentality. Ten Hag cannot get it wrong. Anybody get the idea that it's a decision he can't get wrong? Which is odd because Media Watch is pretty sure that Ten Hag will place the question of the Manchester United captaincy around 14th on his list of priorities. It's really only in England that we are bizarrely obsessed with a piece of cloth on the arm of a man who points. Oust of the read as usual, the mirror take it too far Ralph Rangnick explains how Harry Maguire could be ousted as Man United captain and he really sodding doesn't, he just explains the system he used in Germany. Please don't make us feel sorry for Harry Maguire. Stop making sense going back to that original quote from Ralph Rangnick when he says the question doesn't make sense it turns out that this is a theme. And the theme of the Sun among others pressing ahead with their narrative continues. Headline, Ralph Rangnick admits Man United would be better off finishing 8th and missing European football ahead of Ten Hag rebuild what he actually said. It could be an advantage, but that does not mean we will give away any of the remaining four games. For us it's clear in our obligation. This is our job, my job, the job of the players, that we try to get the best possible results and then see at the end of the season in which position we will finish. Now to speak about if that would be an advantage or not does not make sense, because if I did, but then this would be interpreted again. Too late, Ralph. Too bloody late. False narrative eats little wonder that Ralph Rangnick is a little wary of the English press, having woken up on Sunday to the news that he will present incoming boss Eric Ten Hag with a shocking dossier of shame on every first-team Manchester United player. Steve Bates, in a Sunday People exclusive, wrote that Rangnick, 63, has told them he won't hold back after believing he's been let down and hung out to dry by a dressing room he's privately branded selfish, overinflated, lacking quality and too powerful. Senior sources inside United's Carrington training ground say Rangnick has been staggered by the lack of professionalism amongst the first-team squad. In hindsight, alarm bells should have rung at the words a brutal no-holes-barred rundown. 
Pro tip, don't Google that at work. Rangnick's response to that story on Wednesday, this is completely false, completely untrue. The board has never asked me to prepare a dossier, neither for the board nor for Eric. I also never said anything to nobody criticizing the attitude of the players as being unprofessional or selfish. This is not true, I will always protect my players. I have never realized any issues of them being unprofessional or selfish. Pretty unequivocal. So how are the Mirror reporting this story on their website, keeping in mind that the Bates story is run under the Mirror banner online because they are sister newspapers? Ralph Rangnick has issued a strong defense of his Manchester United players after accusations of them being selfish and unprofessional. The interim boss responded in the wake of criticism aimed at Man United's under achieving stars after succumbing to a 3-1 defeat against Arsenal just days after their 4-0 humbling at the hands of Liverpool. Mirror Football exclusively revealed Rangnick had put together a dossier of details about his squad to hand to Eric Ten Hag, where members were apparently labeled unprofessional and selfish. But the German has launched an impassioned defense to shield his players while admitting that results should be better. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a contender for an Olympic gold in gymnastics. Isn't it odd how the quotes about the story, being completely false and completely untrue are missing? Presumably a simple copy and paste error that will soon be rectified.